Yo, what's up guys, it's Ryan, and we're back again with Track from Scratch, writing groove-focused electronic music. Um, it's been a second since I've touched this, because I've been working on a few other projects. Um, but I finished them, and now those will be out soon. Um, I've not listened to this since the last video, so let's just do a, uh, a group listen through real fast. Obviously that would repeat, but... Alright, so I need a lot more elements in here to kind of fill it out. Um, and I just need to finish the intro, really. Just call it what it is. Oh, um, I'm thinking I'm gonna f start finishing up the drop. Um, or so we can take this arp. What arp? I I just forget what I've got. Um. It's going to be really hard to make like a pad out of. Let's just see if by some grace of God this works. I mean like almost. Something like really quick. Something like that in the background. But I'll wait. Oh, make it a MIDI channel. So no, drop it in here, open it in a uh, simpler. Um, and then that way I can write this loop. It's a, that quick, uh, twice as fast. I can do that, but I can have the velocity like that just something random maybe this fast hat turn it down a little pan it a little left or where's the other hat no, it's just center do I have sweet Then I can also put this velocity effect on it. Random. All right, and then that's making it so like every hit is 11 up or down. I think it's up or down. Um, it's either 
it's it's like within 11 up or down i think of the original velocity so it just gives it a little bit of variation so that no one version of the loop or iteration of the loop is um the same as another these leads up here but I deactivated the clips so I forget what they sound like Thing. What else it needs? So. I feel like it just needs more mid range. So everything in that's pretty low. So I'm gonna make something new. Take the chords from the roads because we found out that they actually work somehow. Um, what do I want? Just try serum. We are going for mid range, so I'm not going to have a ton of highs. And this one. So now it's 100% reverb, which just gives it a space, I guess. We're going to go 52%, I'm thinking. Uh, I'm going to compress it just a little bit. Does it need? I'm just gonna loop it and see what 
Or no, I'm gonna just jump to the intro and see what that means. I don't wanna keep looping like the same part over and over again or I'll get used to how it sounds and then I won't be able to see like what it actually needs, you know? Like I don't want it to do. Okay. We're just gonna hope that no clicks or anything happen. Wait a second, let me, I was just, never mind. I'm not using my audio drivers, so, or interface. So I'm going to make a, like a weaker sub bass and it's just literally going to be sub quiet. It's going to be the same exact thing, but down like 6 dB. Um, I don't want to try to, I did a thing one time, I try to recreate it. I think this sample will work. So it's kind of like just, just, uh, just a regular snare roll. But instead of it just being a snare roll, I also filtered and I did this once in like a dubstep track and I thought it was pretty neat. So yeah, something like that. thing is what we'll call it. Um kinda wanna just like Yeah, I'm just gonna keep it uh keep it in MIDI. I was about to bounce it to audio, but nah. need I'm gonna do that I need like a reversed snare 
into it, or else that just comes out of nowhere. Nah, that's not it. Um, all right, now I gotta find a good snare to reverse. Oh, wait, Leviathan has reverse snares already. I, th I thought. Nope. I lied. I want a break tweaker. Something like that, maybe. Like obliterate the transient, maybe. Yeah, that's exactly what I had in mind for that. Something just super subtle and basic, but it works. I don't know why it's clipping so much, but I apologize because it's really obnoxious. It usually doesn't do this at all. I'll grab a reverse from Leviathan just because it's easy. I need one in D. something like that um, but obviously obviously reverb like a good bit of it um, an EQ It's gonna go into a build sort of thing. And what would happen if I just made this like the build? I mean, I would need more of a build and more of a hit. Like way more of a hit. Um, I think I might do that. Just make this the like make the intro the build sort of that. So if, just to test it out, um, take this, 
have the base slowly get knocked out. And then the same up here. But it'd have to be a little more drastic to actually cut into those instruments. And then the same on the drums. Just a little more drastic, not as much as the uh, the instruments though. a completely separate like riser. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert probably like another 16 bars. And there's room for the riser. And I'll get to that next video. I'm gonna clean up some things first, I think. Um, turn up just a little bit. These drums to be a little more like complicated. gonna be it for today I've got work to do for like my job <laughs> so I gotta gotta go do that um, hope you enjoyed hope you learned something um, I'll keep working on this whenever I get the chances um, the stuff I was working on should be out in the next uh, I'd say three to five days yeah, that seems like a fair guesstimate. Um, if you got any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to answer them. Uh, and yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.